Welcome to Anytime Art. I'm Sasha, and I'm your art teacher. In this show, we'll be creating artwork together using lots of different materials. I'll work from my art studio on the farm where I live, and you can work from wherever you are, because wherever you make art is your art studio. This week, we'll be making a sculpture out of paper. A sculpture is a three-dimensional piece of artwork. Today, on the first episode of this project, we'll warm up our sculpting skills by making five small paper sculptures. I'm gonna head to the studio and get ready to experiment. Okay, here we are at my studio. It's nice and warm and filled with tons of art materials. And speaking of art materials, for our project today, we'll need a sheet of white paper, a pencil, and a pair of scissors you're allowed to use. I'm gonna use a piece of paper that's a little thicker than regular printer paper, but if that's all you have, that's totally fine. Put your materials on whatever table you feel comfortable working on. It's time to start. Take one sheet of paper and put it in front of you the long way horizontally or the tall way vertically. Keep your pencil and scissors close by. We'll use them soon. We're gonna transform this flat piece of paper into five three-dimensional sculptures. I'll describe what I'm doing and you'll follow along. Remember, today is an exercise, so it's our chance to try a lot of different techniques. Perfection is not important. If you wanna stick with working on a certain step for a little bit longer, that's okay. Work at your own pace. All right, let's do it. We're gonna start by making our one piece of paper into five different pieces of paper, each a different shape. Let's draw the shape so it'll be easier to cut them out. I'm gonna start by drawing a triangle. And because the corner of my paper looks like a triangle, I'm gonna just draw one line across that corner to make it into a triangle shape. Then I'm gonna move on and I am going to draw a rectangle. Now in terms of size, just remember that we're gonna try and fit five shapes on this paper. So I'm gonna draw my rectangle now. I'm gonna draw it next to my triangle and a rectangle has four sides, two long and two short. The next shape I'm gonna draw is a square. I'm gonna draw my square in between my triangle and my rectangle. So I'm gonna make a big square, which is four equal sides. I'm gonna move on to a pentagon. And a pentagon is five sides. It sort of looks like a house. It has a pointy top. And then instead of making that line across the bottom and making it into a triangle, we make three lines on the bottom that make it look like a square on the bottom with a triangle on top. Once I cut all my shapes out, then I can use this scrap paper as my fifth shape. So I'm gonna try my best to keep it whole. So let's not spend too much time on this. It's really just a way of us splitting up the paper. It's not really our big focus today. Did it make a perfect shape? That doesn't matter. We're not seeking perfection today. Before we move on and start cutting our shapes out, let's make sure that we included five shapes and that they're each pretty big and different from each other. The larger the shapes, the easier it'll be to transform them into sculptures. Are your shapes big enough? You'll know by how much empty space you still have on your page. You shouldn't have a lot. Now we're gonna start cutting out our shapes. If you need to continue drawing your shapes, that's okay. Keep going. I'm gonna start by cutting out my triangle. And remember, as you use your scissors, you're always cutting away from yourself. And always have your hands holding the paper in a way where you're not cutting towards any of your fingers. You're always cutting away from your body and your hands. So I just cut my triangle out. Next, I am going to cut out my square. My four-sided shape. Take your time when you're cutting. The slower you cut, the safer your cutting will be. All right, cut out my square. Now I am going to 
cut out my rectangle. Remember, as you're cutting, your shapes do not need to be perfect. We're going to be transforming and changing these shapes into sculptures. So we really don't need perfectly geometric shapes. And now I am moving on to my pentagon, my five-sided shape. It's also my smallest shape that I made. All right, I'm almost done. Again, I'm turning my paper so that I'm always cutting away from my cell. And now I have my five shapes cut out. I have my rectangle, my square, my triangle, my pentagon, and my scrap paper is one big, very interesting, creative shape. As you start cutting, start with the shapes that are closer to the outside of the page, and remember to take your time. Now the exciting part. We're gonna transform our flat shapes into small scale sculptures. If you're still cutting out your shapes, don't rush. Take your time and join us at this step when you're ready. These shapes are flat. Sculptures are 3D. They're not flat. They stand up off the table and we need to figure out how to make that transformation happen. I'm gonna start with my triangle, and I'm just gonna fold it. I'm gonna have one corner touch the other corner, and I'm gonna take my finger and push down that fold, and then I'm gonna pick it up, put it back down on the table, and voila! My flat triangle is now a sculpture. It's not that interesting of a sculpture, though, because I really only changed the paper one time and in one way. I'm gonna make two more changes to this triangle. I'm gonna take one corner and I am going to fold it again. And then I'm gonna take my other corner and I'm gonna crumple it. Now I just took that flat triangle and I made it into a much more interesting sculpture. Remember, this is what I'm doing with my paper, but you could make something with your paper that's totally different. The next one I'm gonna do is my rectangle. With this rectangle, I'm actually gonna try and change this piece of paper in five different ways. So with my triangle, I just did three. Now I'm gonna try five. I'm going to bend it. You can start bending your rectangle or doing something different to it that makes it three-dimensional. I'm gonna bend it back and forth. So that's my second fold third fold. Before I make any other changes, I'm just going to pick it up and see how it stands and if it stands. So right now, it's not standing up. It keeps falling over. And that's the great and exciting part about sculpture is you have to solve that problem. I'm going to bend the other end of it. Now it is standing a little bit. And I'm actually going to rip because ripping can be a really interesting way to change your paper. I'm not gonna rip it completely so that I break it, but I am gonna put some little rips in it. Okay, I'm gonna start with my third piece of paper now, which is my square. So for my square, I'm gonna fold one corner to another corner. And then again, I'm gonna do that sculpture test where I pick it up, see if it stands, and it does stand like that. It sort of looks like a tent right now. I'm gonna take it and rip it. Instead of folding or bending this time, I'm gonna roll and see how that changes my paper. Whoa, looks like a little snail or something. The really great thing about making paper sculptures is that you cannot make a mistake. So if you do something and you don't like it, all you have to do is unfold and refold it in a different way. Now my square is standing up. It looks very creative. I have some large folds. I have some really small folds that I made. I'm gonna see if it stands in some different ways. I'm gonna also try and bend it. There's my third sculpture. Remember, this is how I'm changing my paper and shape, but you can fold your paper however way you want. Now I am at my little pentagon shape, and I'm going to work to make my little flat pentagon into a three-dimensional sculpture. So I'm gonna start by rolling the corner, that spiky corner. I actually really liked my rolling technique. And then I'm gonna take another corner and I'm gonna bend it a couple of times. 
And then I'm going to do some ripping. Try and really make a lot of changes to each shape. Think of each piece of paper as its own separate piece of artwork. Now for my final shape, which is the scrap paper that was left. It's actually gonna be more challenging to make this three-dimensional because the larger a piece of paper is, the heavier it is, and the harder it is to make it three-dimensional. I'm gonna start by making one big fold, and I'm gonna do my little sculpture test and see if it stands, and it does not. So I'm gonna make some more folds. And you can experiment with crumpling and ripping explore every technique that we talked about today and make up your own techniques so that for the next episode you'll have a lot of different ways that you can make a piece of paper three-dimensional. I'm gonna take this flap here and fold it up. The more folds it has the more it will stand up so we want to add some strength here that can support the weight of that paper. Done with that one. Take a second to look at your miniature paper sculptures. Which one do you find the most interesting? Are these folding techniques you may want to use again? Which sculpture is the tallest? How did you make it the most three-dimensional of all? We're gonna stop here for now, or at least I'm gonna stop for now. If you wanna keep working on your sculptures, go right ahead. Today, you transform paper into amazingly interesting sculptures. On the next episode, we'll be making one larger paper sculpture on a base. You'll need three sheets of white paper of any kind, a glue stick, and a piece of foam core or cardboard for your sculpture base. Remember artists, you can make art anytime. Want to hear more? Subscribe to Pinna to listen to all the episodes, plus a ton of other awesome podcasts, audiobooks, and more. With content added daily, there is always something new to discover. Go to pinna.fm. That's P-I-N-N-A dot F-M to start a free trial today.